Hello friends, thanks for joining me for Twinchy Thursday. Twinchy Thursday is an open collaboration and it is hosted by Janet Kay of Crafts and Tea with Janet Kay. So if you don't know what a Twinchy is, a Twinchy is basically a tiny piece of art and it measures two by two. Does it have to be exactly two by two? Probably not exactly, because I rarely make them exactly that size, but sticking around those sizes, that'll keep you in the ballpark. An inchy is a one by one, and then when you get probably at about a three by three, you're going into what we would just simply call a cluster. So that's the deal on inchies, twinchies, and clusters. So these are a blast to make, and they are wonderful scrap busters. And that's actually what I'm using today. I am using some scraps from some projects that I have been working on. And I'm also using a few things that I've pulled out of my ephemera folders. These little tiny pictures that I'm working with here, they are from the back of a calendar. So you know how on the back of a calendar, there's a picture of each of the pictures in the calendar. Well, that's what this is. I hope that makes sense. Like, you know, when you flip over the back and you want to see all 12 and they're smaller, well, that's what these are. And they are literally the perfect size for Twinchies. So I grabbed those out of my ephemera folder. I'm going to go ahead and use my corner punch on the corners. Uh, it makes them round. And I don't know, I just did that just so they're not perfectly, you know, those hard edges. Um, since the base is already a perfect square, I figured we'll just soften up the corners on these. So I thought this was really fun to use these in the Twinchies. You saw me cut the base earlier in the video, but you did not hear me tell you what it was because I didn't tell you what it was. So anyway, the base is faux leather and I have some swatches that were given to me by Dale of Not Too Shabby Chic. And I thought, hey, you know what? That's a terrific base. So that's what I'm using for the base. And then obviously, as you can see, I'm putting the, the calendar pictures on there and I'm using Fabri-Tac because it's being adhered to the faux leather. So I just wanted to make sure that I used a glue that would definitely adhere. So that's what I'm using there. And then after I get them all glued on, then I'm gonna decide if I want to embellish them further, which I know that I will because I always like to put on at least three layers. We are going to grab my little container of buttons. And you can see I kind of have them color coded and I'm gonna pull a couple of these out for some of these little twinchies. I'm also going to snip some fabric just in case I want to use some fabric under any of the buttons. I hope you guys are doing good. I am editing this video on May 11th, which is Wednesday, and I'm hoping that I can get this out by tomorrow, May 12th, which will be Thursday, Twinchy Thursday. If not, it'll have to go out the next week. But there's a lot going on over here. Um, I have a family member undergoing some testing today. As a matter of fact, I have to leave my house in a few minutes to go pick that person up. And then tomorrow, I'm actually going in for some follow-up testing. So I'm hoping that everything is a false alarm for everyone involved and that life can resume as normal. But it's been a bit of a rough week just because, you know, I've tried to not be stressed out and I've tried to not be preoccupied 
by it all but you know you can't you can't help it you can't help but have that rummaging around in your subconscious and you know kind of projecting the what ifs and all this and that and the other so at any rate hopefully um, everything will be okay all right so let's talk about twinchies again all right so this one has the little birdhouse and there's a little bird on there and little purple flowers so I thought I'd add a little piece of material and then on top of that I'm gonna add this purple I don't even know what we call it it's a half back it's not really a gem but anyway it's a purple shiny thing and I think that will go perfect with the flowers that are on this twinchy Now I'm gonna work with this yellow button, and since buttons are shiny, I'm gonna use my sandpaper, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that shine off of there, and that is the side I will glue down to the little twinchy paper. I remove the shine to make it porous, and it will grab and adhere much better if you do that. On this one, I am gonna add a little piece of green fabric, and then I'm gonna add a little tiny red button. And I am gonna scratch the back of that up with my sandpaper so that it will adhere nicely. And look how tiny this little button is. I love it, it's so stinking cute. So now for this one, same thing, but I'm using brown fabric. No, this is not brown fabric. This is that nice, deep, very rich red fabric. And then I'm gonna use a brown button on it. And again, scratching it up so that it will be nice and porous. In my stash, I have had these pieces of paper. They came in this size. It's like two inches wide by, you know, I don't know, what does that say, nine inches long? Anyway, I think they used to be 12 inches long, but I used part of them in a journal the other day. But this, because they're two inches wide, I thought I'd go ahead and mark them and then cut them so that they would be a perfect two by two. So we're gonna make a few more twinchies using those. So I've got some pretty fabric that I put on there. And then this is a piece of chipboard that I'm attaching. I'm not gonna add any more embellishments to this one because I think it looks fine just the way it is. So on the next one, I am gonna take this piece of scrap paper. This is actually vintage Sears and Roebuck catalog. Uh, this was a piece of scrap from a project that I was doing the other day. So I'm gonna pop that on here. And then over top, I'm gonna add this this other little image and what I did and you'll see when I pick it up but I'm going to tell you there it is so what this is is a piece of scrapbook paper that I didn't like that I covered with a napkin and then I cut it into pieces so I could use it for things like this so that takes care of that piece of scrap that was hanging around Now this piece is a, still a little too simple for my liking, so I'm gonna try to find something that will look nice on here. So I think one of these purple flowers is gonna work very well. I have a friend who gave me some pieces of ephemera recently, and there are these beautiful roses. So I cut them down to be a little bit smaller than when she gave them to me, and I'm gonna add those to these twinchies. So I've added a piece of that really rich red fabric, and now I'm adding a piece of that ephemera, and I think that looks really pretty. two of these roses so I'm gonna go ahead and make another one I am gonna back it onto this brown velvety material that I have so I'll have the green cardstock and then over that I'll have the brown velvety material and then I'll put the rose on it
I've got two more pieces of those little squares that I cut so I added some pretty fabric on top of those and now I am going to add a flamingo to each one and I'm actually using gem tack because if you use fabric tack on the back of things that are sparkly like any sort of flat back gems it kind of degrades the material metallic part there and then it, it kind of crinkles it so it's still shiny but it makes it crinkly and I want these to stay smooth I hope that makes sense it's like when you look through the resin part the metal part that makes it shiny underneath gets kind of mottled so anyway I hope that makes sense so I am going to use the um, is it it's called gem tack I believe and that's what I'm going to use on these I was thinking of adding some embellishments to the ones with the roses, so I pulled out this little box. I have some flat back diamonds on there, and I'm just going to take a quick look. And I, I don't end up using them. They don't fit right. They don't look right. So I'm going to grab my bottle of, my mason jar I should say, of different sizes of flat back gems. On the one on the right, I am going to put a red flat back gem and then in one corner. And then on the other corner, I'm going to use three small ones. Now I want to see if there's anything I can embellish this other one with. So I'm going to go through a couple of different gems, different sizes, different colors, but in the end I don't find anything that I really like and I can't really find a placement that I like. So I end up leaving this little twinchy as it is. Well my friends, I want to show you the completed twinchies. I had so much fun making these and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get an up close and personal view. There we go. All right. So this one, I made it and I was going to put like a little something in the corner, but I didn't, nothing really fit. And so I thought it's beautiful the way it is. And then the other one, that's a rose. Uh, here's the finished one. I put three gems on it. Hopefully, there you go, you can see a little sparkle there. Then we've got this one. It's got the owl and a little bit of scrap fabric and a button and then the little picture from the calendar. This is another one of the, one of the calendar pieces and then I just, very simple, the picture and then the yellow button. I think it's perfect. It, you know, sometimes things can be simple and be perfectly done. We don't have to like over embellish everything. This one, pretty simple too. Just a layer of fabric and then this really pretty uh, die cut here. Actually, that's chipboard, so it's a little bit thicker. 
This one, uh, again, quite simple, just with the picture, it's got the birds on it. Hopefully you can see the birds, and then the fabric, and then this purple kind of sparkly thing, it matches the flowers on there. And then we have this one, which is again quite simple. Um, it's got the vintage paper, and then this is a piece of uh, scrap of paper covered with a napkin, and then just embellished with this flower. This one I like a lot. Uh, probably would use it in the winter time. It's got the either the robins or they kind of look like actually red finches, but I never saw a red finch. But anyway, they're little red birds, totally adorable. Some green fabric, and then a cute little red button. And then these, uh, let me take them off the thing here because they're dry. So this is fun. It's got the fabric and then a flamingo on it. And then same, the fabric. My battery ran out just as I was showing you the last one. So here are the two last ones. And friends, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. Thanks for watching. See you soon.